So to start out, I'm using my primer and this is just to mattify my face um, before we get started. So I'll be using my um, Phantom Fried Face and Body Paint and being that it's paint, I should have gotten this wet. But it's my first time using it so you know, pardon me. So I'm just using my um, Sculpting in Paradise brush from my Pomi in Paradise collection. Uh, most of the brushes that I'll be using are from Pomi by Lyric and you can find these brushes at FantanaPharmacy.com but the only collection that I have out now is actually there, um, is actually our Dipped in Elegance. So this is the, um, it's a white base from LA Girl and this is what I'll be using as another, like a top coat of, of sorts for the white. <laughs> So I'm using this because I didn't like how the body paint was applied clearly because it's my first time using it so I didn't apply it how I should have, I should have gotten it wet so now I'm going to set I did not have any white powder to set this or I have one but I forgot about it so I went in with a very very light light highlight yeah like i went in with a highlight basically to just set my entire face and that's what i'm doing now so the bulk of most of my tutorials from here on out will be using my Juvia's place palette because i gave away a bunch of my palettes on my snapchat and the only palettes i have left is my Juvia's place palette so everything i'm doing i'm just playing it by ear i'm i'm mostly using colors that um the, the inspiration for this was um Harley Quinn, the Joker's baby mother, she. So I was kind of using her as a reference of sorts, and that's where the red lip will come in. I'm kind of using her as a reference. I kind of went with colors that I knew she had, like the blues and the purples and such. So again, staying within that color theme, I'm using this big fluffy brush, and this is from the Dipped in Elegance, and this brush is actually available at Fontana Pharmacy, but it's sold as a set. The brushes that we have at Fontana Pharmacy, it's a set, and I honestly believe it's an amazing price for a set. You're paying, I think, let's say $8,500 for 10 brushes, $8,500 for 10 brushes, even if you're paying like probably a grand a brush or $1,000 a brush, $1,000 being Jamaican, that is, and the $8,500 being Jamaican. I really think it's a really good price especially for Fontana to be carrying it for that price it's an amazing price if you guys were to buy it from my website it would have been way more um um, um expensive now the reason why i did glitter brows is because i want oh and i have a glitter brow tutorial the reason i did glitter brows is because i had another look in mind but then the creativity took me here uh to this whole clown-esque look again i'm using my juvia this is the masquerade palette that the big palette with the yellow that's the masquerade palette from juvia's place and as i said most of these colors that you, you guys will be seeing me use are from my juvia's place palette because those, those are the ones that i have now i'm using this elf brush um no this is a beige cosmetics brush and of course it's not sold at fantana but that's what i'm using just to layer the colors somewhat going in with my zulu palette from juvia's place again i'm just mixing and, and matching the colors i'm not really blending i'm just applying eyeshadows haphazardly but kind of staying within the color theme even though i'm not applying it with any um form of precision or or i'm not even trying to blend anything out i'm just getting the colors um on my face to be uh, Eunice not really blended out so this clip with me doing the under eye completely got lost I do not know where it is I probably did not press record but I use um, my Inglot gel liner in number 77 and that's the same one that I'm using right now to do the top portion um, Inglot gel liner Inglot eyeliner gel sorry in number 77 that is what I'm using right now to do um to, to, do, to do the black and that's what i used as well to do the under eye area now any black that you see me use is definitely my inglot number 77 it really lasts and if you want to set it with like a black eyeshadow while it's still drying you can go ahead and do that now it's the, my very first time doing any sort of clown makeup like this um and what one look i fell in love with what i fell in love with really are these lips i like how the lips looked e look elongated i like how they look a little bit demented a little bit um disfigured i love love how that looks so this lip look is replicated in a couple other halloween tutorials now i'm using xoxo from la color it is a matte red lipstick and it's from fantana pharmacy uh what else do i have to say yeah xoxo from fantana pharmacy not much to say anyway 
and then i'm going in back with the inglot eyeliner gel and that as well is from fontana pharmacy and i'm using that just to kind of outline my lips now it's in between whether i want my lips to be um darker or or if i want them to draw them on bigger but i just went to just darken the outside and kind of um deepen the the slit lip um, of this look so i wanted to have that messy lip look and i should have stopped right here but i went in with morning and it ended up looking a little bit too neat for me so if if you want to do that again just go ahead and stop right there but this is what i'll be doing um just to make my my makeup look a little bit messy so now i'm going in with my la color la pro primer remember i used the white before now i'll be using the black and that's what i'll be using to kind of deepen my teeth and i'll be to darken my teeth remember my teeth are scary now, i've had this mirror on blood for about um what two years three years or something like so i've never used it until no it's actually pretty cool like i'm not mad at it i am like legit not mad at it so um I'll, i'm just using q-tip just to um get everything situated uh, to make the blood drip in random weird places i have no rhyme no reason to this and this is actually the end of the look if you like i'm i'll be doing these halloween um looks for the rest of the month of october until halloween i know halloween is not a part of what um jamaica celebrates but i do have an international audience and i really think this will actually challenge my creativity so i'll be doing a couple of halloween looks so i really hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye guys